Maybe you've seen it in East Liberty. Originally, we just wanted to sort of create this community space for people to basically come in and you know, tell stories. Uh, and we sort of use waffles as bait. Maybe you've had a waffle here and even been on the show. It all started in 2008. And it's evolved over the years. We First, we were a reality TV show, and when you came in, you were assaulted by cameras and microphones. But now, uh, you know, we built the talk show set, so customers can come in. They could either just eat here, or they could choose to also be on the show. And that's not what I heard. As many as 6,000 Pittsburghers have been part of the Waffle Shop show. None of them famous, all of them with something to say. We're sort of sorry to see it go, but we're, we're happy on the note that it's leaving on. The Waffle Shop is shutting down. The owner, Carnegie Mellon University art professor John Rubin, will focus on the other restaurant he started, the Conflict Kitchen. Right now, it's next door to the Waffle Shop and shares its kitchen. This summer, it's moving downtown. The Conflict Kitchen only sells food from countries in conflict with the United States. So we started with Iran, uh, went to Afghanistan, Venezuela. We now have a Cuban version. We're doing research for a North Korean version. And um, it's a chance for Pittsburghers to get introduced to the people and story and culture behind the headlines that we might be reading. Another project that might get people talking.